everybody. Happy Christmas. I'm going to do the memory verse with you today. So are you all ready? It'd be good if you could all stand up and get ready to do the memory verse. And it's in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. A child is born to us. God will give us his son. He will be responsible for leading his people. His name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, a father who lives forever, and Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Okay, let's do it one more time. Are we ready? Isaiah 9, verse 6. A child is born to us. God will give us his son. He will be responsible for leading his people. His name will be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, a Father who lives forever, and Prince of Peace. special Christmas service. Your Gorsley Baptist Kids leaders have joined together to share and to celebrate the real meaning of Christmas, which is Jesus. Who started to learn the memory verse already? Debbie has also made a craft video for you to do after the service. It's going to remind you about what our memory verse is today and to teach you who Jesus is. This year has looked a little bit different, hasn't it? Do you remember the rainbows that we put up in our um, windows at the beginning of the year? Did you put a rainbow in your window? And what about people? They're looking a little bit different too, aren't they? We're all walking around in these masks. But you know, Jesus doesn't change. He's the same today as he was yesterday and will be forever. Our memory verse teaches us that Jesus is an everlasting God. In a few weeks time, some of the toys you receive for Christmas might look a little bit tattered and torn because they're not designed to last forever. I brought along today a toy that Snooker, my dog, received as a gift from Yazzie a few days ago. And already he's missing an ear, He's got no tail, one of his arms is hanging off, and he's lost all his stuffing. He wasn't designed to be everlasting, but Jesus is. Do you hear that song? Do you know what it is? Yes, it's Silent Night. At Christmas time, I hear Silent Night being played everywhere, all over the place, even on the radio. Silent Night teaches us that Jesus came to the earth to bring peace, to bring love, to bring light, to bring his grace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. That's what our memory verse tells us today. Jesus can bring peace because he made a way for us to love God with all our hearts. He made a way through being a mighty God with mighty power. Through his power on the cross, dying on the cross, and then being raised to life again, he's made a way for us to be friends with God. And now, if we believe in Jesus, he makes a way for us to be friends with God. And if we believe in Jesus, he gives us his Holy Spirit. And through the Holy Spirit, Jesus is able to teach us today. He's been able to teach us, to guide us, to lead us through life. That's why he's called Wonderful Counselor. Jesus is a wonderful counselor, so let's talk to him now. Let's pray. One, 
two, three. Father God, thank you for your presence here with us today. Help us to have fun as well as to know you more. Help us to listen to what you have to say to us today about Jesus. Amen. I hope you really enjoy the service. God bless. Bye. In a manger there lies a baby, the saviour, born tonight in the town of David, which was just in sight. The shepherds went off to where the baby lay. They knew they would see the saviour this day. More rapid than eagles, they ran so fast to the see the saviour. They wouldn't be lost. Now peace, now joy, new life for everyone, of goodness, on love. God's one and only Son, to the city of Bethlehem, to the stable so lowly. Let's hurry now to the new babe so holy. From the dry desert sand, the Magi they came, following a star, they didn't know its name. So over the dunes they came from the east, the long journey there they did not mind in the least. And then, in a twinkling, the star just stopped. So into the stable each one simply popped to wander about the Christ child born today. 
In the city of Bethlehem, so far away, they saw his mother Mary sat by his bed, with Joseph beside her, such thoughts in his head. Their hearts were both filled with such love and such joy, and wonder at the birth of this special baby boy. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. As his visitors awed, they shone from his face, as though each of them was special to this babe full of grace. He had a sweet face and a little round tummy. He kept looking up as he smiled at his mummy. It was a wonderful night in that small little stable. They laughed to themselves, <laughs> whoever was able. Each couldn't believe that on this special morn they had met with the Saviour, the King of Heaven, newborn. They spoke not a word, but wished to give more. Meant all that they had, but they could only adore. The wise men gave gold, frankincense, myrrh, and the animals warmed him with their fur. As they all left that place so holy and mild, they couldn't do anything but wonder and smile. They'd just seen the Saviour, the Christ child no less. Merry Christmas to all, and to all God bless. Who hides in a bakery at Christmas time? Who does hide in a bakery at Christmas time? Mint spies! <laughs> What do monkeys sing at Christmas time? What do monkeys sing at Christmas time? Jungle bells! <laughs> <laughs> Right then, Yaz, can you go and find me a shopping bag, please? Yeah! <laughs> really, well then, right, Harrison, go and find some, a belt or some rope. Which I guess you're going to use it to tie up the donkey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, Yasmin, now you're trying to find something beginning with C. C? How about a carrot, or a cracker, or a candle, or what have we got? We've got a cracker, very festive. Right, Harrison, go find me something beginning with H. Something beginning with H. Like a pose, or a pose, or a hornet, or a hat. <laughs> Brilliant, a hat, very good. Right, Yasmin, something begins with R. What can we find with R? We've got a reindeer or something, or some rice, or a Rudolph, a red nosed reindeer. Merry Christmas Eve again, Harrison, find something begins with I. I, what can we get with an I? I don't know, so, an icicle? Hmm, difficult indoors. Ice cream? Ice cream, that. Oh, we got any ice cream in the freezer? <laughs> what have we here? Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Nice walls ice cream cornetto. Excellent. Well done. And Yasmin, find me something to begin with S. Something to begin with S. Any time today. Come on, it's a race. We've got to do this before the time runs out. Oh, we've got a snowman with a hat. Very nice. And then finally, Harrison, something to begin with T. We find beginning with tea. Some tea. tea. That would be nice. I'm thirsty. We've got a tea? tree. Or a tree. A tree might be a bit big. Tinsel. Oh, we've got some tinsel. Put that in the bag. Excellent. Right. Now you've got everything in the bag. What do you do? Can we tie it to our donkey? Really tight. Not too tight. Ow. <laughs> really. Oh, we're done. Did you beat us? Bye! Bye. <laughs> what did Adam say the day before Christmas? It's Christmas Eve.
shepherds came to see the baby Stood by his mother's side Here lay the Savior inside a manger Oh, what a glorious night For Christmas, only a hippopotamus for him. I can't believe it's nearly Christmas. I know. Neither can I. Hopefully, Mum lets us open up a present tonight. Oh, yeah, that was so good. I really want the new Apple iPhone. I really want a new game for my Nintendo Switch. I'd love a new record player. Mince pies are nearly ready. What? Oh, I don't want one of Mum's mince pies. <laughs> <laughs> Mum! 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 Can you come here quick? Yes, what do you want? If I'm not careful, I am going to burn my mince pies. What do you mean if you're careful, Mum? You always burn the mince pies. <sighs> Mum, can we open just one present? Please, just one! Not now, not now, maybe later. Just pick the 
them up, have a look at them, give them a shake, see if you can guess what they are. Okay. Right. Oh, and it's pies. All of those presents must have been covering it up. I love our nativity scene. He's the baby Jesus. Mm. God said his son was going to be born in Bethlehem. And he was. Look, there's also an angel, a shepherd and a sheep. There he is. Yeah, there's the angel. I'd love to see a real angel. Well, you'd only be visited by one if he was bringing you a special message from God. Like for the shepherds here, peace on earth. Just like Jesus, he brings peace to all of us. And that's why we keep our trust in him. Simple ones. Hmm, what's missing? I don't know. The kings! Oh yeah! <gasps> and the gifts! Here they are. Gold, because Jesus was a king. Frankincense, because he was a priest. And myrrh, because he died on the cross to forgive our sins. And then he was alive again. Anything is possible through God. And he can heal us too. Jesus was a very special gift. I'm glad he didn't stay hidden behind all those presents. Yeah, so that's what Christmas is all about. Jesus. Hello boys and girls, welcome to this part of the Christingle service um, with myself and Abby and Chantel. It's great to welcome you and I'm just going to unpack a little bit about the Christingle, the first part, which, um, if the camera zooms down, um, the first part is the orange. So if you're going to do a Christingle at home, make sure you've got an orange with you, make sure you've got some uh, cocktail sticks, make sure you've got some sweets and then Abby when she does her part of the Christingle which I'm going to hand over to her then make sure you've got a red ribbon and when I hand when Abby hands over to Chantel make sure you've got a candle if you've got all of those elements you'll be able to build your Christingle along with us now the first thing is the orange as you might know most oranges if they're the right sort of orange are bright and orange and this represents the world that God created. And we know that God created the world and he protects us and he looks after us and he's there for us. But the brightness, I think, represents the boldness of the fact that we feel safety when we're in God's hands. A bit like this safety jacket. If I was wearing this safety jacket, it would protect me if I was in a warehouse or somewhere. This orange, because it's bright, reminds us of God's protection and his boldness. But also, if you look at the the rind here, if you've ever bitten orange rind, and I wouldn't recommend you do, it's very bitter. And that can represent the sins of the world and all those wrong things that happen in the world. But we're reminded of the orange, the fact that it's God's protection for us and the fact that he loves us and his power. And then we get four cocktail sticks and we stick them strategically, as you can hopefully see on the camera. Oh, I can smell the orange as I pierce through the rind. You can't smell it, but I can. It's lovely. And those four cocktail sticks represent the four seasons that God created. Autumn, winter, summer and spring. I've probably got that in the wrong order, but you know the, the four seasons. But also it represents seasons in our life. Seasons when things are good and seasons when they're bad. But because of God's protection, because of God's love, because God sent... Jesus down on this earth to save us. We have that promise that whatever season we're in, God is there and God is looking after us and God holds us together and he just sustains us. Now we come to the fun bit. Now, boys and girls, if you're going to do the Christingle, make sure you don't all eat all the sweets before you finish your Christingle. We're going to put three. You might want to get an adult to help you here because this is a little bit difficult because you've got to hold the cocktail stick as well as pushing the sweets in. I think they represent... God the Father, the Son, Jesus, and his Holy Spirit, the three in one. And we're reminded at Christmas time, aren't we, that Jesus came into this world to protect us. So they do the last one. So we've got the orange, which reminds us of the world that God created. And it's orange because of God's protection and boldness for us. Ooh. And then we've got the four cocktail sticks that represent the four seasons but the seasons in our life and then we've got the, the three sweets which represent the father the son 
and the Holy Spirit. Help yourself. And if you're doing your Chris Dingle, be careful when you're putting your sweets on with your cocktail stick. So Abby, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Now, the next thing to go on our Chris Dingle is a light. I'm using a candle, but you could use a glow stick if you like. We put a light on our Chris Dingle to represent Jesus. John's Gospel describes Jesus as the true light. He is the light that shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot put him out. Do you have a Christmas tree in your house? Are there some pretty little fairy lights on it? I love all the sparkly little lights at this time of year, like stars shining in the darkness. On a cloudy day, we can't see the stars, can we? Maybe they've disappeared. Maybe they're not there anymore. No, the stars are still there. And Jesus has promised that his light will always, always shine in the darkness. The clouds just got in the way, didn't they? And our feelings can be like that. We can stop noticing Jesus's presence for a bit. But Jesus hasn't stopped shining. But do you know what? Jesus's light is actually so much bigger than fairy lights or stars. It's even brighter than the sun on a summer's day. If I want to read a book, fairy lights and stars aren't actually much good. I need something brighter. And the Bible tells us that Jesus's light helps us to understand God's word. So do you know how we can get Jesus's light? It's really easy. Just like opening the curtains in the morning and letting the light pour into the room, if we open our hearts to Jesus, his light will shine into our life. Right. Over to you, Chantal. Thank you, Abby. So we're on to our last part of our Chris Dingle. Does anyone know what it is? What's missing? That's right, the red ribbon. But I'm not going to use red ribbon today. I'm going to use um, some red sticky tape. So I'm going to put that around, all the way around the orange. Stick that really well down. There we go. So our Chris Dingle is finished. The red tape tells us something about Jesus. It reminds us that at Christmas time, we are celebrating Jesus's birth. Jesus is God, but he came to the earth as a tiny baby, as a human being to show us God's love. And that's what the red ribbon represents, God's love wrapped around the world. And the orange represents the world. It shows us that God's love is for all people and God wants all people saved through Jesus. Hmm. Jesus saves. He also came to show us how powerful God is. God is so powerful. He can save us from our sins. The red ribbon around our orange has no beginning and no end and that's just like God. It also is just going on around and around the Christingle, which shows us that God is everlasting and his power is everlasting. The red ribbon reminds us that Jesus died on the cross, but it also reminds us that God is so powerful that he brought Jesus back to life through his Holy Spirit. And if we believe and have faith in Jesus, then God gives us the Holy Spirit too. And through the Holy Spirit, God's power comes to us and gives us a whole new life. I would like to pray with me now to thank God for Jesus. One, two, three. Father God, once the world was so dark and troubled that you could not be seen. But then you sent us Jesus. 
Now, because of Jesus, everyone may see God. My God, I just ask for your protection over every child this Christmas, known to us through Gorsley. Lord, I just pray that you'll be there for them. You'll give them a, a great Christmas, but that, you'll, Lord, you'll be in the midst, and, Lord, you'll just look after them and make your face to shine upon them. And we thank you that your word reminds us that our help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. We pray for our teachers, our NHS workers and friends who will need your love, Lord, to serve others. And we pray for all those who are sick, worried, lonely or sad this Christmas, that they may find comfort that comes only from you, Jesus. Amen. And I don't know about you, boys and girls, but when I think about the Chris Tingle service and I think about Christmas, I'm reminded that Christmas is all about Christ amongst us, Christ with us. And I just hope and pray that this year, that as you open your presents and you spend time with your family, you'll remember that Christ came onto this earth to look after us and protect us and to be with us. And I've got a couple of um, Bible verses I just want to share with you. One from Romans 1 verse 20, and it says this. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his internal power and divine nature. And then from Psalm 147 verses 4 to 5, I love the Psalms, it says this. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond all measure. And boys and girls, as you um, perhaps do your Christingle this, this year, if you've got your orange and your cocktail sticks and your sweets and your ribbon and your candle, I just want you to remember that Christ is there for you. Jesus, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Tom's that you bring, the snowman that you bring and the... For the Christmas new man that you make every day, you might make them every day or Tuesdays. Merry Christmas. Hi, Merry Christmas and happy birthday, Jesus. Have a lovely time celebrating. Keep dancing. Bye. Bye. Hope you have a really lovely Christmas. God bless us one and all. You have a great Christmas and I hope that you remember to remember your verse that you've looked with me today. Bye-bye. Listen, we're sorry we can't see you on Christmas Day or today, Christmas Eve, but we hope you have a great Christmas and I hope that uh, as early in 2021 we can be back together in church, maybe on a Sunday afternoon or maybe even on a Sunday morning, but we're in God's hands and we can look forward to a great year where we can just continue to trust in Jesus. So have a great Christmas with your family and friends and look after yourself and see you soon. Bye! So as you guys know, I am stepping down from my role as children's pastor. But do know that I'm still here at Gorsley. I still love you guys, care for you, I'm so for you and I'm praying for you as well. I hope you have a brilliant Christmas. It may look a bit different this year, but I pray that you know that God loves you so much and we are so for you as well. And I hope we have a great time celebrating Jesus' birth. Bye. You, Esther, we're going to really miss you as our children's pastor, aren't we? But thank you for everything you have done and thank you for everything you're going to do. We also look forward to seeing you guys Christmas Day at 10.30. Don't forget to bring your presents for show and tell. And all we have left to say is have a great Christmas. Have a blessed Christmas. I hope your heart and your thoughts are on Jesus throughout Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!